Here it is. We went over facial proportions last time. So today, I do want to start talking about perspective. So perspective starts with space. So let me just discuss what this space page is about. And then we'll talk about some examples here. So space. Space is the visual and physical space within an artwork. An artist creates space in a variety of ways. So over here, we have a couple examples here. And one example is drawn big. Another example is filling the whole paper up using every single corner of the page. And this Excuse example is lines off the paper. Grace. Um, I'm sorry. Um, but I came in a little late. What are we doing? Oh, we're just opening up the workbook. That's all. Okay. That's all. Okay. Um, so that's these examples right here. Let's talk about these examples right here for space. So another way you can use space is when you place objects into the relation of the horizon line. We'll probably talk about that today. Um, smaller in distance, larger close up. I'm pretty sure we went over that last year. Um, darker close up and lighter further away. Uh, we don't need to worry about this one in particular. Overlapping is another way how to show space. And these three in the bottom are all relatively related to each other. It's just talking about foreground, middle ground, and background. Foreground means stuff that's in the front or in the, the most closest part of an image. Middle ground is talking about stuff that's like between the foreground and background, stuff that's kind of like hovering in the middle. And then background refers to stuff that's all the way in the back or behind in the picture. All right, so if we just flip the page from space to positive negative space, so we're going to need some sort of writing utensil for this next part or a coloring supply. Here we go. So positive negative space. Remember the part of the space is the actual space taken up by the line, shape, or form. Negative space is the shape or space surrounding a line, shape, or form. So I did do a little spelling correction here on this worksheet. It says positive for some odd reason, so I added an I over here. And then basically what it wants us to do is color in where it should be positive and color in where it should be negative space. So we have two columns here. Both are relatively the same image. So what you're going to do, using a coloring supply, I'm going to use this, uh, you know what, I'll tell you what, I'll use this crayon right here. You're going to color in the correct section. For, for positive, if it's supposed to be the actual space taken up by the line, shape, or form, that means you should be coloring inside this object, which is basically the butterfly. So color inside here. Just like so. And then if negative space is the shape or space surrounding a line, shape, or form, you want to color the opposite. So this is called the negative space. So you want to color this portion. OK. All right, I want you guys to try to figure out the bottom one on your own. It is a mug, and there's a little trick part, so you want to make sure you get notified by the trick part. With that said, I will be doing it as well. So you want to try to do it on your own, otherwise you can follow along with me. So do the positive first, and then do the negative afterwards. So once I'm done, I'll talk about what I did. All right, I'm on my negative spot for the mug now. All right, I am basically done with the mugs. Now, the reason why I called it a tricky one is because where you put your hand for the handle, notice how it leaves a little bit of a gap. So you wanna make sure that stays open in the positive section. And then for the negative space example, you want to make sure you color that in. A lot of people last class and a lot of people miss that a lot. So you want to make sure you color the inside part where the hand goes, because that's considered negative space too. All right. That page is completely done. We're gonna Can you wait for a second? Down. Yeah. What's up? 
Yeah, if you need more time, let's keep going. You're not the only one. All right, as you guys are still coloring that, just keep your ears open, okay? Because I want to make sure we have time at the end of class to share some stuff. All right, so keep coloring that last page, positive negative space, and I'm going to talk about this next one. The next page, it's called Perspective. It's kind of like what space is, but uh, it gets more into detail of how you view things a certain way. So there's three examples here. So it says on the top line, it says, perspective is the way we see things. There's three kinds of points of view we use in art. The points of view are old eye, normal, Hi. and bug's eye. So over here, bug's eye view, they talk about it. They say it's looking at things from above like a bird. And you see the tops of buildings and cars, but not you can't see the bo bottom of them. A normal eye view, it says here, it says it's looking at things from in front like a person. Like you're standing there, and you see the fronts of buildings and cars, but you can't see underneath or on top. And last but not least, bug's eye view. It says it's, it's looking at things from below, like a bug. So you can see the bottoms of buildings and cars, but you can't see on top. That last sentence was kind of weird, but it's, it's, it's kind of correct. <laughs> I don't think you can see the bottoms of buildings. But I kind of get what they're saying. All right. With that said, what you're going to do is there's going to be a blank sheet of paper on the opposite side of this worksheet. So what you're going to do is you're going to choose one of the perspectives, either bird's eye, normal eye, and bug's eye. And without any instruction, I want you guys to try your best to try to recreate one of those perspectives in your own way. So what I did, if you don't have any, uh, if you don't have any idea what to do, I can kind of show you some basics of what to do. So over here, I drew something called the horizon line. A horizon line is basically when the land meets the sky. That's called the horizon line. You'll see that in pictures. You'll see that in photographs. That's called the horizon line. Now, there's another point. This point right here, it's just a dot. This is called the vanishing point. That vanishing point is basically where everything is heading towards if there's a line in particular. And it helps you kind of measure out everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, two lines going away from that vanishing point and going down. And there's a couple things that this could be. It could be like a body of water. It could be like a river heading towards you. If you put like yellow dashed lines in the middle, it could be like a road. It could be whatever you want. And then from two pages ago, It says smaller in distance, larger close up. You can kind of use that rule in our picture. So what I did was I drew a tree twice, and I made a tree up close, and I made a tree further away by using its size and position to determine its uh, perspective. So if it was close up and large, it means it's closer to you. And if it's small and closer to the horizon line, it means it's further away. So that's all we're doing today. We're just going over that, and we're making an example right there. Um, we still have about five minutes. I should say six minutes. Um, I do want to share with you guys an example. Maybe we'll show you guys next week. I don't know. Come on. I have time. All right. I think I drew it in my workbook here. Give me one sec. I'm pretty sure I did an example of perspective with the other class. All right, here I go. You guys see that? I know it's kind of blurry. So on this one, I did like a road, some buildings, and some trees. And I think on my next example, I made it into like a river with like a bridge. So that's kind of like what fifth grade is doing right now. If you guys want to know more, that's what the fifth grade video was for this week. All right, so with that said, that's the end of the workbook just for today. Uh, for next week, we will be working on uh, the following page after that. So we'll be working with One Point Perspective next week. So that's this one right here. So that's going to be next week. All right, with that said, I did promise you guys some time. Uh, unfortunately, there's only three minutes.
Um, does anyone want to share anything that they've done? Oh, tell them. Go ahead. Um, I did the robots from the video. One's a vacuum cleaner robot, and the other one is just like an old robot. Nice. Any, anyone else want to share? I'm going to pick uh, Zuleika. Go ahead. Um, I drew something in my sketchbook, and this is my favorite piece of work yet. Oh, wow. Nice job. Good work. All right, I'm going to pick uh, Quinton. Go ahead. I've been drawing a lot of characters from one of my favorite video games called Among Us. Uh, here's one of them I drew today. That looks really cool. Good job. Oh, it's really colorful, too. All right, um, I'm going to pick uh, Kira. Go ahead. Um, I made a cartoon dolphin. Oh, that's a cool dolphin. It's cute. Anyone else? Anyone else want to share? I want to pick uh, Caitlin. Go ahead. This is so far what I got right now, but I'm not sure if I shared this one yet. This oh is no! One of the videos cool. with the hills. Yeah, I'm gonna make the exact same thing on this one. The exact same thing. Good job. Good job. All right, anyone else want to share? Let's see another hands up. No one. All right, with well, that said, we're going to end early. Uh, so if you guys want to log off, you can. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Bye.